patch management without downtime is the holy grail of IT operations for mission critical environments. And as security vulnerabilities demand immediate attention, delaying patches poses serious risk to an organization's operations and image in the media. You really don't want to see your company's name in the newspaper next morning. And in this episode of Data Driven, Margaret Hoogland, VP of Global Sales and Marketing at Science Technology, breaks down how high availability clustering is transforming this critical challenge. Margaret shares valuable insights on how high availability clustering solutions are transforming patch management strategies that enables businesses to achieve near zero downtime while maintaining robust security postures. Margaret also talks about how organizations are leveraging these technologies to enhance operational resilience, meet compliance requirements, and protect mission critical systems without sacrificing performance or availability. So let's go and talk to Margaret. Margaret, it's great to have you on the show. Thanks, Swap. It's good to be back. It's my pleasure. And today we are going to talk about unlocking near zero downtime patch management with high availability clustering. Can you talk about why is patch management such a challenge, especially in mission critical environments? There are several challenges. So just to level set, patch management is when the operating system vendors or the application vendors issue updates and patches usually on a periodic basis, monthly, quarterly. In many cases, those patches are uh, fixing cybersecurity vulnerabilities. And so IT teams are under tremendous pressure to get those applied as quickly as possible. But in a very critical application, you need to test anything, any change that you make to a production environment. In that period of testing, they are vulnerable and zero day attacks often happen because their cyber criminals are targeting just those vulnerabilities. And so there's a tremendous pressure to get those um, patches applied quickly, uh, but the testing uh, may be problematic in itself. There may be a uh, long time to wait for the QA environment, for example, or uh, other delays required for the testing that put the IT team in a very difficult position. And so they are constantly looking for ways to get the um, patches both uh, tested and applied quickly with as, many, as little downtime as possible. And that's the other element. Um, when you have a high availability environment, the uh, amount of time that you are down is very, very costly. And so if you have to apply a patch and restart, a, do a full restart of a system or do other work that requires downtime, uh, that's the other element of uh, difficulty with patch management. And what are the risks of delaying patches if you look at today's you know, threat landscape? If you delay a patch, you could uh, interrupt the uh, the operation of that application. When you think of an application, um, it sits sort of on top of the infrastructure stack. So everything under it, from the network, the storage, the operating system, the application itself, the hardware, all of that has to be operational and uh, compatible and accessible for the application to be running smoothly. Any change to any of those elements could mean a serious downtime incident, or it could mean an incident that happens after you've gone into production or at a really inconvenient time that isn't immediate to the testing. And so applying patches and testing them well is very, very important and testing them in as realistic an environment that models the production environment very, very closely um, is critical. And as earlier, you were talking about uh, high availability clustering. Can you uh, go a bit deeper and explain how high availability clustering works and why it is kind of game changer for organizations who do want near zero downtime during patching? So fundamentally, in a high availability clustering environment, such as a SIOS LifeKeeper environment, essentially you run your application on uh, an individual node. Uh, it could be a uh, on-premises 
traditional server. That node might be in a virtual environment. It could be in the cloud. Uh, you pair that with a secondary node that's uh, usually in a passive uh, state. And you run your critical uh, application on this node with clustering software that's aware of both nodes. The clustering software monitors the health of the entire environment. And if there is an incident that causes the application to stop working properly, it automatically moves operation to that secondary node where it continues automatically and with as little impact as possible to the end user. For patch management purposes, one can apply the patches to that secondary node and test it very thoroughly in an environment that's modeling the, the production um, environment. And then in a rolling maintenance uh, technique, you can then bail over to the the, from the primary node to the secondary node, patch the primary node, and you're in business. If your testing reveals a problem of some kind, you haven't interfered with production, and you have the luxury of rolling back to a last known good environment and taking your time with the um, you know, troubleshooting as needed. And so you relieve everyone of a lot of different problems through this process. The testing can be done uh, quickly and efficiently without uh, production uh, interruption. And you also are able to do that failover process, alleviating the need for full restart um, or really lengthy downtime, scheduled maintenance downtime. Can you also talk about what kind of systems or applications benefit the most from integrating high availability into their patch management systems and strategies? So we're seeing more and more customers coming to us who are more interested in this patch management uh, than the traditional clustering environment. Uh, those are typically in vertical industries with a very low tolerance for downtime, like healthcare, like financial services, like some manufacturing facilities. These are places where the uh, you know hospital has 24 seven operation. They can't take down their uh, EHS patient management systems uh, in order to do even scheduled maintenance. Um, these are systems where this high availability environment solves so much of their challenge related to patch management uh, that it's very, very uh, productive for them. And of course, a lot of industries that you folks, IOS, operate in are also you know, highly regulated industries. Can you talk about how does high availability clustering software support compliance effort and also ensure that businesses, uh, of course, business continuity is there and they don't disrupt the plan maintenance? One of the challenges uh, facing IT industry, IT folks in these industries is meeting regulatory compliance, such as HIPAA, such as SOX, Sarbanes-Oxley, um, that require patches or updates that are related to cybersecurity to be applied as quickly as possible and to maintain their environments in a very secure uh, state. And so they, this is another pressure on IT that they have to get these patches applied as quickly as possible. And so being able to do it in a, a quick and uh, reasonable fashion is very appealing. And so we do see customers that are subject to these regula regulations um, using high availability clustering just for that purpose. Can you also share some practical advice uh, for IT teams who are looking at implementing high availability for patch management in their own environments? I think that a lot of teams are familiar with the term rolling update or rolling maintenance. One, one way that they might want to experiment is to download a free trial of our software and try it. Uh, we can work with you on a, a pre-sales engagement and help you through the process of getting a, a two node cluster set up and you can try and see just how easy it is to implement and how productive it is to be able to do that rolling upgrade and fail over to the upgraded um, node and back again. Um, I think that that's probably the, the most um, 
productive way for a, an IT team to proceed. Margaret, thank you so much for joining me today and of course talk about uh, high availability and patch management. Thanks for great insights and as usual, I look forward to the next discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Swap.